Ah, the joys of Minnesota. The snow never ends. Well, I gotta hop in this thing and fire it up and go get something to eat. Got this last night, just a little dusting. But if I want to go anywhere and see out the windows, I'm probably gonna have to get rid of it. Well, let's see what the temperature is today. 23, it's a warm one. Negative five Celsius. That's not too bad. Well, I suppose I'll let her warm up for a minute. And then uh, while it's warming up, I'll brush off the windows and I'll get the hell out of here. Well, there we go. I got her all brushed off. Uh, I suppose I might as well talk about uh, some of the key things you should have if you're going to drive in Minnesota in the winter time. One is a good ice scraper. I like the ones with the little uh, brushes on it. You can get all the snow off. Not that it's uh, really important to get the snow off anywhere here in the back, but it's nice to get it off the hood so you don't get it on the window. It's nice to get it off the top so you don't get it on the back. And of course, obviously, you want to get it off the windows. Um, another good thing to have is good tires. These ones are okay. They're not the best, but they'll work. Yeah, few cracks. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. The way I figure it, my brother has to be the best driver in the world because his tires are absolutely bald. I mean, just gone. The, his whole tire looks like the side of this one, just missing. Of course you saw that, but. Yeah, another good thing to have is a hammer, but I don't think I'll need one to knock off that chunk. I just beat the shit out of my car. There we go. Got a couple more here. Yeah, they kick off pretty good. That's what I love about having a pile of crap where the hood is held down with wire and bungees. You can beat the crap out of it and it don't matter. Yeah, that's falling off. There we go, much better. Well, all right. I think we're good to uh, good to go get some uh, some food. Yeah, quite you. See how good the wipers work. Yeah, not bad. Let's see if I've got any. Uh, oh yeah, I've even got. Uh, well, I've got one side of uh, squishy juice. Awesome. Yep, I think I'm just about ready to go. Well, now this isn't the best winter car to have. Um, it's not bad, it does its job, but uh, as you know, the subframe bolts is a bit iffy, uh, to say the least, so the steering's not great. Uh, the tires are so-so. The brakes are a bit, uh, yeah, a bit mushy, the ABS actually quit working, which I kind of like. Um, the left rear brake sort of locks up sometimes. You know, it's the first to grab, so hitting the brakes on these nice icy roads is a bit tricky sometimes. Actually, I was riding with the banana. We were coming the other way, and she dumped her in right there. She decided it would be fun to kick the ass end out around this corner, and uh, of course, when she did, she hit the brakes that she wanted to slow down, but you don't do that when you're going into a slide on an icy road. And she put her in a ditch, and I had to hike back to the house and grab a truck and pull her out. Should have got my camera and then laughed at her, but I didn't. I was a gentleman. But yeah, we'll be in town here pretty quick. I'm going to turn the radio back on so you guys can't, uh, you can't watch me drive because they don't like that. But that's just a little cruise. I don't know why I'm making this video. There's really no point to it, but yeah, what the hell. Well, there's a few keys to winter driving, but uh, probably the most important is to know your vehicle, know its limitations, and uh, you know, go slow when you got to. 
See, this is a blacktop road, and there's actually a yellow line in the middle, but it used to be dirt, and I'm used to driving right smack dab in the center of it, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, I don't think I'll get busted, because cops know better than to come out this way. <laughs> but right up here, I went in the ditch back, actually on the left there, years ago, because I was smoking a cigarette, changing a, what was I doing, changing a CD, and uh, trying to drink uh, pop or something. And that didn't work out so good, and it was actually straight away I dumped her in. But my brother, he came around this here corner, and uh, something ran out in front of him, and he slammed on the brakes in the summertime, and he actually dumped the front end of his Buick right in that big ditch here. And <laughs> about two in the morning, he called, I'm in the ditch. So I drive down here, and ass end of the car is sticking up in the air, and front end's in the ditch. I was like, you idiot, you should have hit whatever it was. But yeah, this is uh, the definition of a winter beater right here. Except I drive it all year round. Um, another thing, the heat sort of works. Um, I mean, the heat it comes out hot, but uh, it doesn't blow real hard out the front because the controls don't work anymore. And uh, I haven't got it adjusted just right to do that. But yeah, whatever. I guess you got to see a little bit of my uh, my road here. And, uh, where everybody I know went into the freaking ditch. I'll have to show you someday what I call Bob's Corner. It's on a road down the way there. My buddy Bob went in years ago. And uh, this is where my brother's girlfriend actually went in and I drove her out. Backed her out of there and I ripped off her front bumper. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for this video I think.